Hello everyone, and welcome back to another exciting episode of, um, this game. Life is Strange. This is a bonus episode. Farewell. <laughs> Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. <laughs> I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Just in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. <laughs> oh boy. Oh jeez, what a terrible idea. Oh no. That was amazing, actually. That was truly amazing. Why are explosions so awesome? That's like asking, <laughs> why are puppies cute? Some things just are. Um, I'm not sure your mom would see it that way. <laughs> when she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess That's I true. better do some actual cleaning, too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. Okay. Ah, it's good to be back in Max. That sounded so wrong. Uh, it's it great to like be half my life back as Max. <laughs> Probably because I have. So terrible. I so. can't believe those days are all over now. I feel so dirty now. <laughs> In a few days, my whole family moves to Seattle. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. Could be. But how do you tell your best friend that you're leaving her? Ah, oh, you haven't told her yet. Jeez, Max. Oh, no. I better help Chloe with her cleaning. And while I'm at it, I can take one long last look around this place. Yeah. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty Chloe Bear. Oh, jeez. Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever. And I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. Well, I guess we'll have to trash that. What are you doing? Adding <laughs> this to the pile. No <laughs> freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. <laughs> we never play. Chloe, we haven't played this game in years. And it's missing half the pieces. <laughs> nice try, Max. <laughs> but you can't erase your shame that easily. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, this was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month. But... How sick was that show? <laughs> the sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Any new moves? Oh boy. Totally? Yeah, totally. <laughs> I've been working on my air guitar. <laughs> Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back to the junk mines. 
Unicorn poster. Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. Bongo. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Kloenstein's okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'll let you read that. Um, what's in here? Snoopy Snoopy! <laughs> Whoa. Talk about embarrassing. Ooh. Yep, we're gonna trash this. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? Sharpie boob jobs. <laughs> you mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. Oh, geez, you don't want to get rid of anything, do you? Come on now. Will I be able to find anything in here? Anything at all to throw away? Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. <gasps> a game where I can actually see my reflection? No way! <laughs> it's, it's becoming harder to find those. What's this? As usual, Chloe's uh -huh. grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in PE, though. Ah, another board game. I was lucky to survive Chloe's oh, magic phase. Not board game. My magic game. Or magic set. Or whatever. I never got into magic. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. <laughs> Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? It's so lame. <laughs> you said yourself. Magic is super lame. I did. But that was before I learned how much children's birthday parties pay. If you can <laughs> trick parents into paying you, That's hilarious. I will truly believe you're a magician. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. Yes, I can. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. Oh, wow. To the parents of Chloe Price, dear parents, congratulations. Your child, Chloe Price, has been accepted for September 2008 admission to Blackwell Academy. We have offered places to approximately 100 students out of 1,200 applicants. Your child excelled in all criteria for admission. An open house for admitted students and parents will be held on March 26th. April 2 is the deadline to inform us of your intentions regarding admission. Your admission reply form is included. For those who require financial aid, please contact Blackwell's Office of Financial Assistance. We look forward to welcoming you and Chloe to the Blackwell Academy uh, family. Sincerely, Marco S. Gonzalez, Director of Admissions. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're fine. Oh boy, push further. Chloe, 
You are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know. I just, I like hanging out with normal people. Like <laughs> you. Thanks. I guess. I guess. You know what I mean. I, I hate fake people. You're real. Thanks. I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Backpack. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. Um. I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt Mr. she plays Shark. with it anymore. Trash it. <laughs> no. You better not be thinking <laughs> that I think you are. Chloe. I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <laughs> Sorry, chum. That's better. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was awesome. Who else but Chloe could turn cleaning her room into a pyrotechnical adventure? And make more of a mess. Mm -hmm. Hi, chart. Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. Oh, Max. You're going to stay the same height as now. There will be no difference. I've tried my best to clean this place. <laughs> I should check in with Chloe now. No, I want to look at everything else. God, come on, Max. We bought this as a gag years ago. I honestly can't believe Chloe still has it. She's a hoarder. That's what she is. She's a hoarder. <laughs> what about this half-eaten jawbreaker? A serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. <laughs> Lick it. You're right. Yes! The never-ending candy lives on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. Save it. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It, it, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. I mean, that's that true. never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. Hmm. Sounds like Chloe is changing. Well, before we do anything else, I'm going to lay down. I'll listen to what Max has to say. And I'll keep my mouth shut. It's so hard to believe. This room, this house, this town. All in the past now. Soon to be. Who even am I without Chloe? She's the one who's always starting things, pulling us into adventures. I can't imagine life without her. Maybe I haven't told her I'm leaving yet because I still can't believe it's real myself. Okay, we're done. The thoughts of Max. Time for you to talk to her. Let's get the show on the road. Hey, did you see my dad's camera yet? <clears throat> Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. <laughs> Your dad is the best. 
Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. Keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of cool. <laughs> That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. <laughs> and now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two undersupervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. You gotta tell her now. Come on, man. Actually, Chloe, I really uh, have to tell you something. You're not gonna be able to. It's... I don't know how Holy to. Shit, Max, hold that thought. Of course. I must have fallen out when I was digging around in here. Do you have any idea what this is? Pirate related. Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape. Is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. <laughs> I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? I wish I had stuff like this. <laughs> a vast future wayfarer. Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> Bluebeard and Long Max Silver! <laughs> so, you're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure ye seek. <laughs> In mine eyes, spot two fair pirate wenches. <laughs> what? Dad, get away! We're in the middle of an important project! Oh, a project? Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it! All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, you've come to the right place. But be forewarned. The journey will be treacherous and full of <laughs> treachers. Nice. <laughs> to find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Uh, again, only those with <laughs> pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And... Uh... Bye. <laughs> Dude. That was... Hilarious. Hilarious. We were so, so ridiculous. We still are, Max. <laughs> we still are. <laughs> okay, okay. Forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Our old sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. Property of Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. <laughs> um, the Bane of Arcadia, Crow's Nest, Saloon, Cockpit, Treasure Keep, Cannons, Galley. Hmm. Bluebeard? And Long Max Silver. Yep. Pogo the Pirate. The game. <laughs> no bathing, no boys on a ship, no sharing pirate secrets. Always sure plunder. Always bury treasure. Always protect fellow pirates. Failure to obey these rules will result in plank walking. 
Another day of plunder and destruction on the high seas. Our just buried treasure has come under attack again. The evil commander Shelley, enemy to all pirates, has threatened to take the map from us if she sees it. Surely she has heard how valuable our treasure is and wants to steal it from us. We're doing our best to keep the map hidden as we continue to work on it, because our enemies want our treasure so bad. We must make sure the map is only readable to us. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. To more plunder and riches. Captain Bluebeard, Long Max Silver. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. I would venture to guess it is, and you drew it in blue. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? So much for telling Chloe now. Mm. <laughs> All she cares about is finding this map. But where could it be? <sighs> Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. Hmm. Maybe. Max and Chloe's sewer adventure. Oh, God. <laughs> you are Max and Chloe, the best friends and students in school. You sit in class until suddenly a cute squirrel arrives at the window. It's so cute. Do you want to pet it? Pet the squirrel, page eight. Don't pet the squirrel, page three. Oh, geez. There's a lot. So, this is a choose your own adventure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave it on here for a second. Page two for a second. Page three for a second. Page four for a second. Page five for a second. Page six for a second. And the next. 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 Okay. So now that that's done, I'm going to play. So, we already read page one. I'm going to choose Don't Pet the Squirrel. Because petting squirrels are bad. They're crazy. And they will bite you. Why don't you like squirrels? They're so cute and nice. You must be very mean. The squirrel seems annoyed that you ignored her. She runs in and steals the book. Report right off your desk. Then runs back outside. That squirrel stole my book report, you tell the teacher. Uh-huh, whatever you say, Miss Anders responds, clearly not believing you. What do you do? Um, chase a squirrel, page four. As soon as Miss Anders turns around, you run out the window and chase a squirrel. That is a very bad thing to do, and you hope you don't get in trouble later, but you probably will. Outside you look around, but you can't find the squirrel. Is she gone? Oh, there she is. She's standing next to a sewer hole. You run up to her, but she gets scared and jumps down. Oh boy, do you really want to go down there? Jump down to the sewer, page two. You are very brave. <laughs> <laughs> you leap down into the sewer. Thankfully, there is a pile of trash, banana peels, and dirty diapers to land on. Whew! You hear a squirrely sound in the distance, so you run to follow it. There are many twists and turns. Eventually, you come to a fork in the road. But now's not the time for eating, so you put the fork back down and consider the two paths in front of you. Oh, that was good. 
On the ground, you see a trail of tiny footprints to the left and a trail of chewed up paper to the right. Which way do you go? Well, obviously we're going to the left. You picked right. I mean left, which was right. It's confusing. In the distance, you see the squirrel, but he's not moving. In fact, he's dead. Who would kill a poor squirrel? Suddenly, the ground begins to shake. Around the corner, a giant rat appears. It's the biggest rat you've ever seen. The biggest anything you've ever seen. It's the Rat King. The Rat King is wearing a crown and standing on a throne of all your missing homework, including your book report. What do you do? Uh, run away? If you run away like a scaredy cat, I don't blame you. That thing is gross. As you run, you almost trip on a small, shiny object. You pick it up. It's a lighter. Your mom never lets you play with these. But she's not here right now, is she? Now is your chance to kill the Rat King and protect all the students' homework once and for all. This is your chance to be a hero. Do you do it? Just kidding. You don't get a choice. You may get to choose some things, but I'm still the author here. You have to attack the Rat King. But how do you want to attack him? Burn his throne. You decide to burn the Rat King's throne. It hurts you to burn all of that amazing homework, including your wonderful book report, but you remember that it's for a good reason. As soon as the throne catches on fire, the Rat King begins screaming, No! My throne! Suddenly, the Rat King begins to shrink. Before long, he is back to the size of a normal rat. He can't even climb out of his huge crown. Aw, he's so cute now. You run back to class and tell Miss Anders all about the Rat King and everything that happened. Not only does she forgive you for not having your book report, but she declares that you are the greatest hero in the school. Duh. The end. Until the next Max and Chloe adventure. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, yes. Take that, Rat King. <laughs> Look in the mirror and take a photo. Yeah. Don't move. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Um, okay, pose a Chloe. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. <laughs> <laughs> I try. Textbook. I think this was the first class Chloe and I had together. Not sure I learned much about the stars and stripes. Examine. Ooh, I bet it's in here. Yep. Bingo. Chloe's secret lair. Dark cavern. Amulet, Treasure Island, Price Castle. Okay. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet, which we hid inside a dark cavern, a.k.a. the attic. Ugh, why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. Still scary? was <laughs> your attic is still terrifying it's been five years max i'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation it's <laughs> more the mice and spiders i'm afraid of time to face your fears then okay and once we have the amulet and the telescope we use them to reveal the treasure somehow somehow i'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope you go find that amulet We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! Jeez. <laughs> I'll find a way to tell Chloe later. I tried. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. Oh, man. Okay, 
Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to look at. Makeup is great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time, I just don't get it. Yeah, me neither, Max. Me neither. Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. Well, I used to. Oh, that's a sad thought. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. Hmm. I guess Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. Oh, there's a pirate towel. And then she's had that for years, hasn't she? Long time. I can't believe I won't be able to call Arcadia Bay home much longer. You'll be back. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone reading these books. Me neither, Max. I wonder if I'll ever take this view in again. Uh, I have a sneaking suspicion you will. Do, 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 do. I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into another world. Ah, uh, kind of like a movie and book. I don't think I could ever handle a real-life murder investigation. Yeah, that's forewarning right there, isn't it? But in reverse. The two whales makes the best Belgian waffles. No other diner could even come close. I don't think I've ever had a Belgian waffle. What's this? It's so sweet that Chloe's mom takes this photo with her to work. Huh. Oop. Aw, Chloe's parents are so cute. Oh, Chloe. Pregnant. <laughs> Wait, no. Chloe not pregnant. Chloe inside. Being the, uh, the child that in is, is inside her, 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 mo her mother. Yeah. Chloe's Nicotine gum. Mom is trying to quit smoking. Huh. Hmm. Cigar quit gum? Okay. Is that an email from the principal at Blackwell? Chloe did act a little strange when I asked her about school earlier. Hmm. The principal at Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. I wonder what about. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Price. I would like to begin by saying we are thrilled to have Chloe at Blackwell. Rest assured, her scholarship is not in jeopardy at this time. However, it seems that she's been having trouble transitioning into this new, more challenging environment. I am emailing to set up a time to talk about the incident that occurred last week. I am very concerned about Chloe's behavior and would like to work with you to take steps to correct it as soon as possible. I'm sure you are as dedicated to Chloe's success here as we are. The future needs excellence. Regards, Ray Wells. Did Chloe get into a fight? She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. Ray, Chloe was not the only student to act out that day, and if you ask me, Marissa Rogers isn't the victim, she's the bully. Maybe if both sides of the story were heard before placing blame, your school would be a less challenging environment for your students focus on your school i'll focus on my daughter william price <laughs> a voicemail i wonder if it's still there these types of people are exactly why i didn't want chloe at blackwell we'll figure this out i promise i love you too so i forgot to tell you miss rogers called while we were out yesterday and left a message it's still on answering machine but please be careful when you listen to it i don't want chloe to overhear we need to figure out how to handle this. I know the principal said her scholarship isn't in danger, but I still worry. Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. To Aaron Price from William Price. Finally used your pressure washer today, and I just wanted to say thanks again for letting me borrow it. Works like a charm. It's not our dream house, but now it can at least be the right color. If you want to come over next weekend and give me a hand, there will be a cold beer in it for you. Give me a call. Hope everything at work is still going well, and tell Linda I say hello. Huh. Plane Chloe tickets. hasn't mentioned a trip. 
Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, so cool. Plane tickets to Phoenix? Chloe is such a nature nerd. Oh, the I Grand Canyon. I've been there once. A trophy. No strikes? <laughs> How can that be so cool and so dorky at the same time? <laughs> a pamphlet? It's awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. Aw. It's a good note from William. He's a good father and a good husband. All right, well, time to go in here. There it is, the dark cavern. Can you reach it though? Crap. I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. Hmm. I need to find something to stand on. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. That crate would not be enough. But we'll move it. It's a start. I gotta find something I can stack on top of it. Hmm. It'll be a toolbox. Seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. Well, maybe not the toolbox. Never mind. Um, what can I use to stack on top of it? Would it be in here? Ah. There we go. This is such a bad idea. <laughs> there. I just need a few more inches. A few more inches? Well, what else um, What else do I get? Oh, a loose post. I slipped and broke this post a few years ago. But Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. Huh. Or maybe that was enough. No, I don't think that was enough. I just need a few more inches to reach the attic. Well, I was thinking just taking the toolbox, but I can't. I've got to find that amulet before I'm ah! going to Can I use something to No. It's gotta be. Would it be books? Aha! Uh -huh. This is even worse. <laughs> oh, what a bad, bad idea. Oh, Max. <laughs> I think that should be tall enough. Oh, boy. Ah, spiders. Awesome. Man, there is a ton of stuff up here. Yeah, there is. Oh, there, there it is. is. 
course Chloe hid the amulet in the hardest place to get to. I need to find a way through. We will, Max. In the next episode of Life is Strange. Before the storm. Farewell. Episode 2. Whew. That's a long title. Alright. Well, uh... Goodbye! <laughs>